A spider thief has entered the city and is using cobwebs to trap three people on the wall every day. He trapped these three people on the first day. He then trapped these three people the next day. And on the third day, he trapped these three people. So think about it and tell me which three of these five people will be trapped against the wall on the fourth day. Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. If you look closely, you'll notice that the spider thief is sticking three people, wearing the same colors. On the first day, guys dressed in red were stuck. Blue shirt, blue pants, and blue t-shirt on the second day. So, now that three of these five are dressed in black, it's their turn. Did you get it right? A pickpocket approaches Lara from behind and snatches her bag. She cries for help and Detective Mayhul reaches the location immediately. She tells Mayhul that there was a lot of cash inside the bag and some flowers that she had bought. Mayhul starts walking towards the main road, and he finds Lara's wallet on the roadside. But the wallet was empty. He sees three people around the corner of the road and immediately understands which one of them was the culprit. Can you guess? Let us know in the comments below. Let's now check out the answer. Look at the guy in the middle, even though he is on a wheelchair, he has shoes which are dirty. As if they have been used just now. Also notice the flowers kept on the shoes. Mayhul notices this and arrests him immediately. Let's jump to the next riddle. In London, there was an invisible thief. He was invisible to human sight, and only the items he robbed were visible. But no one used to approach any of them. He stole a refrigerator on the first day. The next day, he stole a washing machine. The very next day, he stole a mixer grinder. And the day after that, a television. Now think about it and tell me what will he steal next. A radio, a cycle, a bed, or a microwave. Consider your options carefully and leave your answer in the comments section. Let's take a look at the answer. Every alternate day, the robber steals kitchen necessities. On the first day, he stole a refrigerator. On the third day, he stole a mixer grinder. So, he'll steal the microwave on the fifth day. Let's move on to the next one. You have to choose any one of these four superpowers, which you'll have for the rest of your life. First is invisibility, which means you can be invisible whenever and wherever you want. Second is mind reading, which means you can read anyone's mind. The third one is time traveling, which will help you to travel through time. This means you can travel to the past and see whatever you want. Fourth is teleportation, which means you can teleport wherever you want in a second. Like if you are in Europe, you can travel to the UK in a second. Now, think wisely that which superpower will be best for you to have. Let me know your answer in the comments section. Let's have a look at the answer. You should choose time traveling, because then, you can travel back in time and obtain all the superpowers. Amanda received $5,000 from her father. So she went to the ATM and took it out, and stashes the money in her closet. Amanda's three roommates were not at home at the time. She saved the money and went to college. When she returned home from college, she discovered that her money had been stolen from the closet. She started looking, but she couldn't find the money. Only then, did all three of her roommates enter the room. Amanda asks each of them. Has anyone stolen my money? Lily explains. I was in college all day. I just got home for lunch and did not enter this room. Rose says. I came for lunch as well, but after Lily had left, I opened the closet door to look for some documents, but there was no money inside. Stella replies. Money in a closet? I have no idea. I just returned from college. You should inquire with the security guard. Think of your answer and leave it in the comments section. Let us take a look. They all gave dubious responses, but pay attention. Lily claims she hasn't even been to the space, so how did she know there was money inside? She must have concluded that if Amanda is searching this room, 
money must have been stolen only from here. That's why, there's less doubt about Lily. Rose claimed, she searched the closet but found no money. You might be wondering, how she knew there was money in the closet. So there's reason to be suspicious about Rose. Stella heard them both, and assumed the money had been stolen from the closet. She then suggests approaching a security guard for assistance. That suggests, Rose is the culprit, and Amanda realized it as well. Let's move on to the next one. A vampire is trapped inside a cave. There are three doors to get out of there. Behind the first door, there are motion sensors, which will burn the vampire if there is any motion detected. Behind the second door, there are sound sensors, which will burn up the place even if there is a little noise. Finally, behind the third door, there are temperature sensors that will burn the place if there's even a slight increase in the temperature. So, which door should the vampire choose to get out of there? Think carefully, and tell me your answer in the comment section. Come on, let's have a look at the answer. Vampires are cold-blooded, so there won't be any increase in the temperature when he tries to get out through the third door. Let's move on to the next one. While chasing a thief, Mayhul reaches a cave. As soon as he enters it, the door of the cave shuts. Suddenly, a voice comes from the cave. If you want to get out of the cave, you have to press any one button. You've been provided with hints. Use them to press the right button. So, think and tell me, what will replace the question mark? That's the button which will open the door of the cave. This is a tricky one, so take your time and pause the video if you want. Let's have a look at the answer. If you observe carefully, you'll notice a pattern. Every alternate thing is living. The first is a non-living item, and the second one is living. So, the first, third and fifth are non-living, so seven will be a non-living item as well. And out of the four options, the only coin is a non-living item. Mayhul pressed the button and the cave door opens up. Let's move on to the next one. Jugga wakes up one day and has no memory of the previous night. He was dancing with a girl at a party. He didn't remember her face, only that he became unconscious after a while, and that girl dropped him home. Jugga was trying to recall her, and pulled out his phone. He saw a photo of three girls, from the previous night's party. Look at the photo carefully, and tell me who was with Jugga last night. Think carefully, and tell me your answer in the comments section below. Let's have a look at the answers. The girl with red lipstick was with Jugga last night, as there are red lipstick marks on Jugga's t-shirt. Jugga understands that, and contacts the girl quickly. Let's move on to the next riddle. Rhea wanted to see a movie. Sierra and Phoebe are two of her friends, but they have a fight going on and don't speak to each other. Rhea, on the other hand, wants to go to the movies with both of them. Now consider carefully, and tell me whether it will be cheaper for Rhea to go with both of them together, or separately. Or both ways will be the same price for Rhea. Think carefully, and tell me your answers in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. If Rhea took them to the movie separately, she'd have to buy four tickets, twice for herself. But if she took them both, she'd only need three tickets, so she'll save one ticket worth of money. Let's move on to the next one. As the clock strikes 12, Damika Singh breaks into a house. He roams around the house to look for items to steal. Within 10 minutes, he runs off with a lot of things from within the house. By looking at these images, can you guess what items did Damika Singh take? Let us know in the comments below. Let's now look at the answer. Let's now look at the answer. First, the cat statue was stolen. Second, the photo frame is missing. Third, the plot is also not there. Fourth, the cup. And fifth, the pillow are also missing. Five things were stolen. 
let's jump to the next puzzle. Look at these two girls carefully and tell me who is more older, A or B. Think and comment your answer. For more such puzzles subscribe to the channel.